The thought of uh, Liz Truss on GB News is a little bit like um, suggesting that the whole of the channel has given way to a glorious spitting image, or indeed a revival of children's TV in its heyday during the 1970s on the BBC, or indeed the rival attempt on Channel 4. Was it Channel 4? ITV! ITV! There was no Channel 4. And um, Liz Truss, Liz Truss, what could she be? She could be a sort of updated Valerie Singleton poised on the sofa, fondling one of the animals. Uh, think of the joy of her attempts to make your very own pop-up parliament out of a bin liner, an egg carton and a pack of sanitary towels. Jacob Rees-Mogg. Jacob Rees-Mogg could be there reciting John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress for the revival of Jackanory, 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 while Quasi Quateng defies everyone and rearranges his sock drawer um, because he has such a prodigious pile of socks. And Nadine Doris, Nadine Doris, moonlighting from talk TV like, uh, like, 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 like Peter Brady, Susan Shranks. Do you remember Susan Shranks? Or was it Susan Stranks? And Tony Bastable, who I think went off and became a producer, all rolled into one with a mascot named Murgatroyd the Magpie. Uh, or, or is it Buster, the former Prime Minister? One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy. Boris probably can't remember how many children he's managed to sire while watching Prime Time children's TV. Esther McVeigh narrating Camberwick Green and Anne Widdicombe wheeled out as Lady Rosemary. Oh, 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 and the best one of all, Dill the Dog, played by Matt Hancock with a carrot to stop him chasing his own tail in and out of the stationary cupboard. Oh, the stationary cupboard. It's not Constable Napweed who's got his pencil ready, Matt. It's Florence, and as Zebedee would say, Time for bed.